I miss Disney. I miss, I miss Disneyland. There's so much that I miss right now during this time of our lives, but Disney and going to Disneyland, it's one of them, okay? I live in Southern California and I've had an annual pass off and on for like the last uh, about 10 years. And something that I loved about Disney was not only just the vibe and just going for like a half day and strolling around and just seeing out all the cool stuff, but the smells. And that sounds probably really strange, but there's just certain smells throughout the parks that just, <laughs> They warm my heart and you know what? I wanted to bring a little bit of that magic to my house because that is pretty much the only way I can quench that thirst. I've never been to Disney World. I, like I said, I live in Southern California. Disneyland is my only outlet and they are closed still. And even if they were open, I really wouldn't go there yet, but that's everybody's personal preference. So I need to be able to bring some of those smells home so it could just, bring a little joy to my heart, you know? So I actually was watching Jessica Braun's Instagram stories a couple weeks ago, and she was asking people for suggestions of that very same thing, which was crazy because I've been looking for that same thing. And one of the suggestions was Magic Candle Company. So I have a little haul here and a review because I've already been using the products. I could not wait, honestly. So what I'll be doing in this video is I'll share with you the different products that I got, the different style products, and I'll kind of go into a little bit of a description of them as best I can. And then also some of the things that are supposed to smell like things specifically in the parks. I will let you know if I personally think they do or if they smell like something different. So that's what we'll be doing today. A little bit different than my usual content on this channel, but I am beauty and lifestyle. So hey, if you are new to my channel and new to my face, my name is Ashley Ellix and I am a beauty and lifestyle channel here on YouTube. And if you want to subscribe at any point in time in this video, then I would love it so much if you hit that little red button down below. If you did just subscribe, thank you so much. I super appreciate it. And to my OG subscribers, I thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. But I know most of you would just wanna hear about all these smells, just wanna find out if these products are actually any good and it's worth the, uh, the order for you. So if you wanna see all of that, if that sounds all good and dandy to you, then you know what to do. Sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Boop! I gotta give a shout out to my little hidden Mickey. It's not that hidden, but I'm wearing my little surfer Mickey shirt today because I thought it would be appropriate and it's super cute. I got it at Target last year, but I did see it at some point this year. But anyways, so I'm gonna kind of do my haul, but my review at the same time. So I'll show you each product that I got, what I feel about that product, and that is gonna be how it goes. So I picked up a set of four fragrance oils, and then I also picked out two candles just to start. Honestly, you guys, I could have gone ham. I could have gotten... So, so much, but I thought I would reel it in and just give my, you know, just give a little sampling of the line and start with the basics and then go from there if I want to, or I can try a different brand or something. Cause there's lots of different companies that make similar type of things. So I have the Pirate Life candle, which is supposed to smell like Pirates of the Caribbean and then also Pumpkin King. Let's just talk about Pirate Life because I feel like when I was looking at it up at least, I was looking for reviews on Pirate Life and I noticed in the reviews that it was reformulated, uh, maybe like beginning of this year or end of last year or something, it used to smell more like allegedly the chlorine type of vibe from it, but they did change it to a more, I guess, home home style fragrance, something you would probably enjoy a little bit better in your home. If you want that chlorine water, some people say mildewy type of smell that Pirates of the Caribbean has, which I do actually really like, but I'm not sure if I want it in my home. They said maybe go with Splash Mountain. That has kind of that more vibe to it, which I'm curious. I might get that one next time. So Pirate Life, I knew to expect something a little bit different. Let me tell you, it smells so nice. I wish I got this at the beginning of summer because it's such a summer fragrance. It has this kind of like undertone that does kind of feel like a Pirates of the Caribbean type of vibe, but it's not really that strong. And it's no chlorine smell, no mildewy smell, nothing like that, but it has like this kind of more Caribbean smell. If you were to, you know, blindfold me and stick this under my nose, would you be like, it, that's, you know, what does that smell like? And I'd be like, a really nice, 
fresh, almost like fresh laundry, but like in the Caribbean type of smell. That's what this smells like. I really wish a smell vision was a thing. I mean, it's 2020. I thought as a child, at least by the year 2020, we would have it by now. So I'm sorry that we don't, but you'll have to just go off of this, I guess. It just, it smells lovely. Maybe a hint of the ride, but maybe it's just my imagination, you know? So we have already burned into this one. You'll notice that the wick is a little bit different in here. It's not a classic wick. It is a wood style wick. Comes in this tin jar with this cute label. It does feel very like handmade, custom, and I believe they do hand pour all of these. So I like the quality feeling of it, a handmade quality, but still like everything looked exactly the same. There were no flaws between anything. It's like professional, homemade type of quality. So I did really enjoy that. Now the wood wick that you'll see in here, I'll show you the one that I haven't burned yet. So that wood wick that you were seeing in there, what really sold me on getting a second candle, cause I was only originally gonna get the Pirate's Life, is that it's supposed to make like kind of a crackling type of sound, almost like a fireplace would. I personally only hear a little itty bitty bit of it, I'm not that familiar with the wooden wicks. In fact, these were the first wooden wick candles that I've ever had. So if you are already familiar with it, you know how it is. I'll try to get a little video of Pirate Life burning tonight so you can hear it. You know, it's, it's very, it's very slight. So I've been loving and burning this in our bedroom just because it smells so fresh, so nice. My husband loves the fragrance and I'm I'm really enjoying it. Not 100% Pirates of the Caribbean, but they did say go with, it's not called Splash Mountain. I think it might just be called Splash. Whatever that one is, go with that one. If you're looking for that true walking by pirates or walking into pirate smell, which I do kind of want to, I do, I, I'm, I'm, I might get that next time. <laughs> <laughs> I might regret it, but maybe not. There's something just so nostalgic about that smell. I mean, that is like one of the strongest smells I think of when I think of Disneyland. It's so weird, but yet you can't pinpoint exactly what it is. What it is. And even, I guess it's just a water ride type of thing there because even, um, you know, all the other water rides smell like that. So the next one that I got is Pumpkin King. Now I picked this one out because like I said, we're on the cusp of fall and I was originally going to get this in an oil diffuser, but I thought the packaging was so adorable with the pumpkin and everything and just that whole fall vibe with the orange wax in there that I thought that this might be better as a candle. So I went with that and I have to say, I don't think that this is supposed to smell like anything in particular within Disneyland. It's just supposed to give you kind of that fall feeling. I mean, Pumpkin King is based off of Nightmare Before Christmas and Jack Skellington. He is the Pumpkin King and I'm so ready for that. But the smell, it's just a nice fall smell, honestly. Has a great, great top note of cinnamon. I can't even like, what is, what is the description? Sweet, creamy combination of pumpkin puree, warm notes of butter and sweet vanilla cream. I do kind of, yeah, I do smell now that I, it helps to read descriptions because now I can almost like smell it coming through the notes. So I, it's heavy on the cinnamon in my opinion, but yeah, I do smell the sweetness of like a buttercream and a vanilla coming through. I haven't burned this yet, so I'm not too sure obviously how it like, you know, produces and stuff with the aroma, but this is the straw, this is this, you open this and the room smells like it. So I know that one's gonna burn awesome. This one, you have to like really go in to smell it, but when you burn it, oh, it's beautiful. We burn it in our master here and the bathroom is like, it's an open kind of floor plan and it fragrances the whole area. So. I love, I love the quality of the candles. And also one more thing about the candles before we move on. We have burned this now three nights, maybe an hour or two each time. So six hours. And other than the wick being charred, you wouldn't really even know that it's been burned. So here's the two side by side. I mean, that's awesome. Oh yeah, and I should mention that I got both these candles in the eight ounce size and that retailed for $16.95. So this should last me quite a bit. I'm pretty excited, but they do have a larger size if there's a fragrance that you absolutely love and there's that on that on the candles, okay? Moving on to fragrance oils or diffuser oils or whatever you wanna call them. So I have this little cute like luggage looking type of box that mine came in because they do offer you to buy like a value pack. So I bought the four, four bottle value pack. They also have a 10 bottle value pack, but I went with this one to start for $27.95. Each bottle individually would be $7.95. So that would be like $31.80 if I were to buy each one individually if I wanted four. So I do like 
like that they offer kind of like a discounted size box for you, but I was still able to hand pick each one that I wanted. I wouldn't have wanted to do a pre-made set because then I'm restricted to just whatever those are. So uh, let me tell you about the sets that I got because I am loving these, okay? I'll share with you the first bottle that I actually used and that was the Flying Over Orange Groves. Now, picked up this because one of my favorite scents within the park is Soren Over and... <sighs> Don't come at me if you're a Disney buff, but it was Soren over California, over in California Adventure. And I've only been able to ride Soren over the world, I think two times because we go with my daughter and she's five now, but she just was able to start riding Soren before our passes expired in December. So <laughs> I've only been able to ride it two, maybe three times. And I don't remember if the Orange Groves is on Soren over the world. If it is, let me know down in the comments. Is that still a part of it? I really hope it is. I think it is but I'm not 100% sure, but my nostalgia comes from Soarin' Over California. I rode that ride, man, oh, we, Sam, I love that ride, okay? Soarin' is such a cool groundbreaking ride, and if you're not familiar with it, there's a part of this ride where you, it like almost feels like you're hang gliding, right? You're in these seats, and you go over the orange orchards, and you go over the orange orchards, and it just smells like orange wood, orange trees, not fresh orange juice. No, no, no. It's just this certain type of orange smell and they did it. Okay. In my opinion, they did it. They put that scent in a bottle and it just smells just so nice and refreshing. It's not just a straight typical orange smell that you might be thinking of. It's, it's, it's an orange, it's an orange grove smell. It's an orange tree where it's just this light, these light citrusy notes and it's just not overpowering. It's almost more like the peel or something. I don't know, <laughs> but I love that. This was the first one that I used in my diffuser. And by the way, my diffuser, you'll see in the back here, I actually do usually have it downstairs in my kitchen, living room. It's like a whole open floor plan that I have downstairs. So that diffuser usually goes down there, but I wanted to put it here just to show you guys what I'm working with. I picked that up on Amazon specifically for these oils. I never had one before. So the whole oil diffusing world is new to me on that. And I only have it and I will only use it because of Disney land smells. So what I was doing, that holds 500 fluid ounces. No, that sounds like a lot. 500 milliliters, something like that. I usually will fill up half of it if I want to like change out the smells. Half of that filled, so what, 250 with about, uh, depending on the oil dropper. This one, I think I did six or seven drops to get that really fragrant blossom. That will last me two days, okay? Not consistently, going the whole day, but off and on throughout the day, I'll go and turn it back on. There's a timer and stuff. I'll link that diffuser down in the description box I got on Amazon, but I love it. It wonderful. And if I fill it up to the four, 500 full, well, that's three to four days, baby, depending on how much I use it. So these are beautiful. Like I said, I have an open floor plan downstairs and it seems to fragrance the whole area depending on the bottle, which we'll talk about. So this one, I feel like I have to use a little bit more to get that full orangey scent, but I'm really enjoying it and I really like it. And I think that they nailed it. And this is... This is one that I was like, yeah, okay, I need that, especially for the end of summer here. Probably would have really liked it at the beginning of summer too, but I didn't have that information at the time and we only can know what we know, right? Now I picked up Ice Cream Parlor because this is another fragrance that I just love, okay? The Ghirardelli Ice Cream Shop over in California Adventure. We love to get the milkshakes there and the different types of sundaes and the mint chocolate brownies sundae is so good. But also the Gibson Girl Ice Cream Shop on Main Street. <sighs> Let me tell you, walking in there, you're like, oh, it's just such a unique smell. And it's not like, I don't, I just, it's crazy. So I got this one because I needed to smell that smell and I just have not been able to in a long time, you know? And it, again, they nailed it. It smells like an ice cream shop. They just, it, and the waffle cones and, and it's just so yummy. This one is actually my husband's favorite smell and I have to agree with him so far because not only does it just smell just so yummy, but I feel like I have to use less of these drops. I feel like I only need to use about five, whereas like say the orange grove, I have to use seven for half the container of my diffuser. So I also like that. It'll last me longer, but it just, it gives off so well. It's just, <laughs> 
It's just yummy, but it's not yummy in the sense that it makes me want ice cream. And that's probably odd, you would think, like you'd smell ice cream and you want it, or you smell sweets and it makes you want sweets. But no, it's just, it's just such a good, it's just such a good smell. I mean, this is one already that I could tell if I ran out of it, I would rebuy it. This is the one that I used for four days straight and we didn't get sick of it. And there's like, you, you wouldn't even know I used it yet. It's crazy. So I'm liking that. I'm feeling like the bang for your buck so far will be an oil diffuser versus a candle. Although the candle seems to be burning really well too. So, you know, I'm just happy with both so far, okay? So the next fragrance I picked was confectionery. So this is supposed to kind of smell like those shops with the lollipops and the like fresh paste, not pastries, but the, you know, um, why can't I think of it? Their description is old time candy shop. So yeah, I mean, one of those shops, you know, like, um, Downtown Disney has Marie Confe Confectionery, Confe oh my goodness, it's been so long that I don't even remember the names of the stores anymore. They're they're escaping me right now. Um, and then there's also one on Main Street that's next to Gibson Girl, Girl but not. It's like, it's in between one of the merchandise shops. I forget what that one's called, but that's what this is supposed to smell like. Their description says, delightful treats, sweet and sugary aromas, a hint of raspberry. I, I don't, hmm. I don't really smell raspberry. No, I guess, okay. Again, going back to the reading the descriptions, knowing the descriptions actually help you to smell the things or it's a placebo effect. I'm not sure, but we're gonna go with it. I smell lollipop, like a little, like second note of lollipop. I can't, just kind of like sweetness, but not overpowering, like sweet, just a sweet shot, maybe sweet cream and and a lollipop note in there. And maybe it's raspberry lollipop. So I really think of those classic like Disney swirly lollipops, the big ones or the unicorn horns. And it's nice, but I guess my, my complaint with this one would be that I have to use a lot of it. It's just not really coming through on my oil diffuser. I feel like this one, it's the hardest for me to smell in my house. Maybe it's just, maybe it's me, but my husband says he can't smell it either. So maybe it's him too, but I don't, I don't love it. It's not working that well as my oil diffuser. Maybe a candle will be better. I'm not sure, but overall the smell, it's just, it's fine. It's nice. It's not bringing me that Disney nostalgia that I'm looking for. And maybe I never really paid attention to the smell in that shop. I think because I love the smell of ice cream parlor so much that this is what I smell. I think so. I was on the fence between confectionery and bakery. I probably should have gone with bakery. I think I feel like I would know that smell a little bit better, but <laughs> that that's what I picked. So maybe next time I'll switch it up. Now the last one. <laughs> I said earlier that ice cream parlor was also kind of my favorite, but for now I have not. I have not done this one yet because I'm saving it for that special time of year. <laughs> and it's haunted holiday. Okay, okay. It smells amazing, okay? It smells amazing. If you've ever ridden Haunted Mansion when they do the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay and you get to the, the dancing ghost dinner party scene, right? Where they have the gingerbread house during Nightmare Before Christmas and it just smells like gingerbread heaven. Oh my goodness, that is this in a bottle. And oh, I, I'm getting like goosebumps just talking about it. I have a problem, okay, I have a sickness. I love Disneyland, but I love the smell too. And oh, did they nail it. Oh man, so I know this one's gonna be my favorite, but I can't completely say it yet until I actually diffuse it, but I'm kind of like holding out on it, you know? Oh man, it's gingerbread. It's cinnamon. It's just all those things that you want in a Christmas smell, in a holiday smell. And I'll probably start doing this maybe intermittently through Pumpkin King and this during the fall, just because I feel like it goes hand in hand because it's Nightmare Before Christmas. And that is allowed to be watched any time of year, but mostly September through December on repeat. If you love Christmas scents, fall scents, those rich, just, oh, beautiful, you'll love this. If you know what I'm talking about, you know that Christmas candle that just like, that's this. It's just, I can't, I can't stop smelling it. It is so good, I love it. Like I said, haven't burned it in the diffuser, haven't burned it, haven't put it in the diffuser yet. I am, um, I might need to try that soon and then maybe also get a candle. 
That way I can have one upstairs, one downstairs. I might also buy a second diffuser. I don't know yet, but I need these smells to surround me more often, not just when I'm downstairs. So that is my little haul and I probably talked your ear off about it, but these are just things that I'm excited for, okay? I love makeup, I love beauty, but I also love Disney and Disneyland and yummy smells and <laughs> We gotta talk about that today. And uh, my house is finally starting to slowly smell like Disneyland and I couldn't be happier, quite frankly. During times like this, you know, it's the little things and finding a fragrance company that can kind of do a similar vibe to something that you love like Disney fragrances. <laughs> Then, then you go. Next thing I wanna do is find a butterbeer type of candle or maybe just a butterbeer recipe because my friend and I went to Universal Studios last year and we went to Harry Potter land and the butterbeer was so good. Um, so I know that would smell really good as a candle or something. So that's next on my list. If you know one, if you know a company that does that, let me know, hit me up down below, let me know. And then same thing with any other candle or fragrance companies that make Disney inspired fragrances. Let me know that too and share with the rest of us who might be wanting to know as well. And if there's any specifically that you want me to try out, then let me know down in the comments below and I will do my best to order that. And we'll do another round of this because because keep it coming quite frankly. Again, the candle company that we were talking about today was Magic Candle Company and I'll leak anything that we talked about down in the description box in case you wanted to shop any of those. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for sitting down and watching me gab about all this stuff and I hope that you enjoyed. If you didn't subscribe yet, I would love it so much if you would consider doing that before you go by hitting that little red button down below. Make sure your bell is tapped, that way you get notified when I post more videos, which is about three times a week. And that is it for today. I'm gonna go burn some candles, refill my diffuser because I'm lacking over here and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So these are the two, so these are the two candles that I bought. So these are the two candles I picked up. Girl. So these are the two. Okay, let me start over. Okay. More about the uh, little. So, but now, so now, so now, how do I, okay. So, I let, I, but no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being at home a lot. Smells the smells. Tiga.